today what we're going to cook is stingray uh, with namchut sauce and a mango krabu. And Chef Juan is going to be cooking. I am yeah, all my recipe is for me. <laughs> Uh, I am Masak Mera. I think yeah, the main point of the event actually is Chef Juan and I have worked together quite closely for the past six months, I would say. And you know, we've been gearing up to open up a Malaysian restaurant. And so Chef Juan's uh, told me a lot about where to go in Malaysia, where to eat, to really find the authentic food. When you talk about Malaysian cuisine, uh, you know, it's quite well spread. Especially when we refer to, you know, everybody knows what Indian, mm. Northern, Southern, you know, Chinese. But what's Malay food? So Malay cuisine is very regional. The fact that we have 13 states, you know, and each state, you know, wherever it's located. So today, our cuisine is basically, I would say, uh, you know, the best of, of Asia. Stingray, generally, is a flat fish, but what's very important to know about it is that you have to take out the center. It's also actually quite poisonous. If you actually cut your finger on it, it can actually get really, really badly infected. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of calamansi. Does everyone know what calamansi is? Yeah, it's basically like lemon, but it's got a much more of an aromatic sort of flavor to it. And that's gonna also give a nice smell and also clean the fish a little bit as well. Um, then I'm also gonna add here is a little bit of turmeric and a little bit of chili powder that we mix together. People say that Indonesia or Malaysia stolen Indonesian cuisine. Actually, it hasn't. Yeah. It's just a migration of people. Yeah. So people from Medan have moved over to Malaysia, yeah. and people from yeah. you know Malacca have moved to Medan yeah. through the spice trading. Yeah. The, the, the spice, the spice uh, route. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're talking about you know we're talking about from 11, 12, 13th century. There was a lot of migration going on Huge. because because suddenly Malacca became a very prosperous port. You know, thriving Penang as well yeah. in the late you know 17th, 18th century when the British arrived, and so people were looking for opportunity just like today when the Syrians are traveling to Europe you know and so we open our doors to people and then of course our forefather came and all that and then uh, we inherited all this and so of course uh, you know this has been part of us a bit of Turkish a bit of Arabic a bit of you know all Which that one are you? Turkish? Darling I am the most beautiful one <laughs> I'm everything you know I say I'm everything and I've never realized how diverse Malaysia is until I started living there and working there over the past six months. And it's a, an amazing country because there's, I don't know, seven or eight different ethnic groups that, that, that combine it. And there's a lot of heritage in there. And, you know, for me, I've always been trying to work out what is Baba Nonya, you know? Baba Nonya is the Chinese that married the Malays. And I kind of, they also have the European version. And that's kind of what I feel that I am a little bit, because I'm married to an Indonesian. And I have three Indonesian half English kids. So I feel a little bit like a modern day Prenikat myself. Uh, You're really. a mess. <laughs> It's so wonderful to see someone at his level who's so passionate about Asian cuisine. And trust me, we have many Malaysian, Indonesian, Thai, Vietnamese, you know I mean, who are also great cooks, but not as passionate as him, who wants to take the food to a different level. So I think, I, I think being Malaysian, I have a lot of high respect for him. You know, and, and, and so that's why, if there's anything I can do at my age, you know, because I'm going soon, we are not going to stay in this world forever. And so whatever I have, I share with him. Because I believe food is food is love. Yes. You know, food is a bridge that you share among all cultures. So can I get a round of applause for Chef Wan? So uh, I picked this dish uh, because uh, I thought it would be very interesting for you to make at home as well. It's very simple. So the first thing for this Masa Mera thing, what you need to do is you need to get your chicken. Yeah? Uh, so the chicken, Usually, like here we have a lot, run down by the truck, very cheap lah. Like. Ah, you know that, bang, and that finish, so you go and get them. So, salt a bit, yeah, and put some bit of oyster, and then uh, what you call some turmeric, mix them, leave them to marinate for an hour, and then you kind of like, you know, fry them. Are you English? Uh, German. Oh, German? Oh, I just came back from Frankfurt. Yeah, which part? And I was in Munich as well, filming. Okay. Which city? Hamburg. Oh, Hamburg, nice. I was there uh, for the World uh, Frankfurt Book Fair, you know? and I also received an award uh, 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 for the Moment 20 year, uh, Best TV Chef for Asia, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to get like this. Make way, 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 make
I enjoy doing what I do today because you know at the end of the day when I see people happy and all that, I say, okay, maybe it works. Maybe it works. You no, know? I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. Well, I'm gonna kiss my cuddle. <laughs> ah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's what friends are for. <laughs> I don't forget 50% increase in my fee next year. Chef, one, thank you so much for embarrassing the hell out of me <laughs> in my own hometown.